Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we are looking at disruptive industry called carbon capture. We look at the 10 most polluted countries in the world and then I will suggest three public companies you might want to look at investing in. Stay to the end and see which company I am investing in. To describe carbon capture to the ordinary guy in the street is simple. You find a fossil fuel emitting plant like a power station. You plug in the carbon capture facility into it and then you store the CO2 either in liquid form or in a solid. There are a lot of high profile billionaires investing in these projects and they include people like Bill Gates. So let's have a look at the top 10 polluters and then see what the pros and cons of investing in carbon storage companies looks like. The top 10 polluters in no particular order are Kuwait, Nigeria, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Senegal, Pakistan, Botswana and Mongolia. So here are the reasons why carbon capture is a good thing. The Paris Agreement on Global Warming needs to keep global temperature rises to below 2 Celsius. Coal and gas continues to dominate the electricity sector and that is why carbon capture is so important. Removing carbon directly from power plants is the easiest way of doing it and it also provides an opportunity of removing other toxic sub substances at the same time. Carbon capture is one solution of many others and carbon capture can be stored underground, in deep oceans or in abandoned gas or oil reservoirs. The negative side of carbon capture is that it is expensive for the owners and operators of fossil fuel power plants. There are concerns over storing carbon capture and the consequences of leakages and environmental contamination due to earthquakes or other human incidents underground. Storage of carbon capture at the bottom of the ocean is untested and the monitoring and storage of carbon capture will have a cost as well. Before I get into the three stocks you may want to look at, here is a list of companies that could potentially IPO in a few years time. You may want to pause this video and make a note of them and put them on your watch list. Right, the first company that you may want to look at is called Pond Technologies, an Ontario-based Canadian company with disruptive technology that captures CO2 using algae. The company has nine USA patents and 19 international patents in various European and Mid-East, Mid-Eastern European countries. What this means is that its competitors cannot replicate the same processes they use. What Pond Tech does is it creates wealth from waste. It turns waste into money. They cap the polluting facility and then the algae is able to consume the carbon dioxide and other pollutants. When Pond Tech eliminates 2000 tons of carbon, this is equivalent to 400 cars. With just two tons of its byproduct, it can make lots of useful domestic products. Looking at the company over the last six months, we can see its volatility, the market cap dropping from $25 million to about half now. But as you can see, this is slowly creeping up as its revenue has started to turn around. Check them out as a long-term investment. Possibly a safer bet might be Equinor ASA, ticker symbol EQNR. They are a Norwegian energy company. They are storing 1.5 million tons of carbon dioxide a year. Their cash flows to date are over $16 billion. And lastly, the company that I have invested in are Woodboys, a Guernsey based company that manages natural forests in Africa and are committed to large scale carbon initiatives. 
They are a penny stock and are currently exploding in price. Finally, remember, when investing in these stocks, you are looking long term. So expect to see high volatility, government re regulations. And remember, in most part, it is an unproven business. Lastly, a big thank you to all my subscribers. I've just hit 900 subs. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.